Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you happen to be a student of Fiji's economic history, you will no doubt be informed that the uh, sources of wealth for Fiji have come from sugar, from tourism, and from other things like copra. And something else that, that has been a source of Fiji's income is gold, believe it or not. And, uh, well, I'm visiting the, the, uh, the, the um, town of Vatakola. I've never been here before. This is my first time. Uh, and so I'm in the town of Vatakola. And um, this used to be, this was a town that served the gold mine. There, there, is, there is a gold mine that's just over there that used to be called the Emperor Gold Mine. Uh, then it closed down, I think, I believe in the, two, the early 2000s, it, it closed down and it was bought over, it was bought uh, by a Chinese company. And so that company is now running the, uh, the gold mine and it's simply called Buttercola Gold Mine. So I, I'm in the, the um, there are two parts, there are two areas to this, to Buttercola. And I'm currently, at the upper level, which used to be the European quarters for the, the gold mine. This is where, um, where, when the gold mine was at its height, at its peak, this is where the Europeans lived. And you can, you will, you can see that the, the standard of housing between this, this upper level and the lower level is quite different. And you, see, you can see some of the old shops that used to be here. That's an old shop that uh, has long closed down. You've got these other houses here, but you've got to, ah, oh, you've got the, Bula. Bula. So you, you guys go to Suva? Yeah, Suva, Suva. From, from Botocola? Yeah, Botocola to Suva. Suva. Okay, okay, that's pretty good, isn't it, eh? Yeah. And do you stop along the way, or you just, um, just, just, uh, do you go Express. just from Botocola to Suva, or do you stop along the way? Uh, I stop. You from, stop? From town to town. From, from town to town. town. Oh, okay. Like Raki, then ah, Abu, okay. then Norwo, then Nosuri, Okay, then... I'm, I'm gonna come and uh, use this bus one of these days. It looks like it's, oh, it's, it's interesting. Nice, that's nice. Uh, <laughs> so are you from here, sir? Uh, I'm just doing a vlog, a story on uh, Vatikola, on the gold mine. Oh, it's it's my nice. YouTube channel, oh. The Pale Blue Dot. Oh. So remember, The Pale Blue Dot. The Pale, pale Blue, Blue Dot. Dot. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right, guys. I'm just gonna continue. Thanks. Nice talking to you, okay. Okay. Hey, Bulla dear, how are you, okay? Good. And you're, uh, you live here? This is your house? Let's have a quick hello. No, no, I'm just, uh, just doing a little story about uh, Botocola. Okay. So, so you live here? Do you live here? Yes. And do you work in the mine or does your husband work in the mine? My husband works in the mine. Oh, okay, 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 all right. And this, this is We're your... staying here, this is the old post office in Batacola. Oh, so this is the old post office? Yes. Okay. Old post office. Oh, now so... we live in this old post office. And is there anything left over from those days? Any old symbols from, from the post office? Uh, no. No, nothing at all? Yes. Okay. They, they, they renovate everything inside. Okay, so everything's they, been renovated um, inside. Everything's been uh, renovated. No. That's the old image. Oh, that, okay, so that, that is the old MH, okay. Jiminism was up there, it there was, was a the old library, okay. and this is the MH, Maurice Hedstrom. So that was the old MH, yes. and up there... Is the Jiminism. Okay. This is the old library. The, where's the, this building here? Yeah, it was oh, removed by the cyclone. Oh, okay, it was removed by the cyclone. Okay, so the, the old library used to stand here. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Fascinating. So the old library uh, in the European quarters of the Vatacola gold mine used to be right here, but it, according to the lady, it was uh, it was uh, um, damaged and blown away in the cyclone. What what cyclone was that, dear? Is that cyclone Winston, the big one in 2016? Okay, okay, okay. And the the gymnasium is right on top. Right on top. Yes. Wow. Okay, that's a, that's fascinating, isn't it? Before the MH was located to Tawa Town, it was oh. in 
published. So that was the old MH. Yeah, all okay. had yeah so MH um, was a very famous uh, supermarket chain in Fiji. It, uh, it was it was uh, still operating in Fiji until oh until when the um, the late 90s, yes. the early 2000s, yes. the early 90s. 2000s. 90s. Yeah, it was a huge. Uh, chain of shops all over Fiji set up by the the, uh, the early European settlers and so this used to be a branch of MH's. Now I think MH was still around till the early 2000s wasn't it? Then it's yes, yeah. Exactly. And so your house is the old post office? It's the old post office of Watukula. Really? Yeah? Isn't that fascinating? Incredible isn't it? And um, you don't, there are no old serving counters? Nothing like that on, on this? No. no nothing. Nothing's left of the old and of the old uh, supermarket. Yes. Okay all right. You've got a breadfruit tree here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, dear. Thank you, thank you dear. Okay. Take care. So there you go. That's a. Like I said earlier, this is my first um, time here in Batacola. When my parents moved uh, to Fiji many years ago, um, they. Um, I, I was. I went to school here for three years before leaving and and uh, I was at Xavier College in Bar, a very famous Catholic school and um, we were told about Batacola and we were told how this town had um, blossomed, uh, how this town was created in the shadow of the gold mine uh, which back then uh, was known as the Emperor Gold Mine, and now it's just called Batacola Gold Mine. It's run by the Chinese. But, um, Bula! So anyway, let's just, uh, let me just show you what it's like up at this, this, uh, this end of Batacola. Take this, this thing off, it's rattling away. Okay, right, so, so here we are, uh, like I said, this uh, back in the day was the, um, was where you, the Europeans used to live, uh, in the old Emperor, as it was in the old Emperor gold mine, and uh, you can see the, um, uh, as, as I drove up to this, this upper end of Vatacola, I saw the difference in housing, uh, and you can see some of the, uh, the older bungalows that would have been the quarters, the, the homes of Europeans. So these are some of the old homes. Hello guys! How are you? Okay. Just looking at, do you live here? Do you live here? Okay. It's, a, it's an old style bungalow, isn't it? It's a very old style of house, very old. Uh. style of house isn't it? Eh? I like the, the windows. These windows, uh. you don't get these sort of windows uh. in uh, uh, housing these days. These are the old style, European style of uh, windows aren't they? Eh? Yeah. Okay, you guys all live here? Yeah. Okay. All right, and your parents work in, or your father works in the yeah. gold mine? Yeah. Your father? Oh, okay. All right guys, I'm just gonna have a little wander down there. Eh? Oh, so there you have it. There, um, there's some more, some more uh, houses down here. Are there any dogs? No. Any dogs? No. Okay. Okay. So the these are some of the uh, old houses. There you go, there's another one there, and they're, they're all over the place. Now, on my way up here, on my, on my, uh, oh look, this is interesting. Um, we've got uh, these signs, one sign for the old Emperor Gold Mine, Emperor Circle, probably just the road. I do know the, the mine is over there, and this one is Kaiser something shaft. Kezar 
Kazar stroke RI shaft, whatever that means. Um, but um, so you can you can see the house is all very different. Now, a lady I spoke to earlier, just a few moments ago, uh, told me there are that this upper level, as opposed to the lower level, has a different name uh, in Fijian. So, Bula dear, now you were saying, what's this, this, this area called again? Koroere. Koroere. Yeah. Oh, okay. And the lower level is called? Matanangata. Ah, oh, okay, okay. You'll go there? Yes. Another road going up there, uh, that place called Loloma. Loloma. Yeah. Ah. After that, you'll enter the company area. Ah, oh, okay. 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 Oh, bottom gate, that side. Okay. This one up here at the middle, top gate. Ah, okay. So but that's the, the over here is gate. two gates. Uh, workers. Ah, okay, okay. And do you work in the middle? Mine. The mine, sorry? Yeah. Uh, it's the miner. Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay, okay, all right. Uh, this one, one uh, shaft here, Kaiser shaft. Okay, I saw up that, there. Kaiser shaft, yeah. yes. So there's a. Just up there. Okay, and uh, like, it goes into the ground, does it? Yeah. Okay, okay. And. Um, yeah, there. Okay, so that truck's going yeah, to the... Yeah. And what's over there? That's like a, another extraction point for the gold? Yeah. Oh, they take the gold out yeah. there as well? Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. There's a uh, four shaft there. Yeah. This one is a shaft. Uh, one decline shaft. Okay. Uh, one uh, Phillips shaft and one Smith shaft. Ah, oh, okay. So there are four shafts yeah, four where shafts. they extract the gold from the ground. Yeah. Ah. And how deep would those shafts be? Do you know how deep they are? No. Uh, and above the level, 100 feet, one uh, first level to second level. 100 feet? 100 feet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Is that uh, level? In 21. 21. They are on that 21 level now. Oh, okay. From 1 to 21. Oh, so there's 21 levels? Yeah. So that must be pretty deep, must yeah, they? Yeah, deep. Wow. Deep and hot. Eh? Deep and hot, yeah. And so they're taking all the gold out. Yeah. Wow, and there, there's still large reserves of gold yeah. in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's, it's it's it makes sense to keep digging for it, doesn't yeah. it? It's, it's profitable, yeah. isn't it? Are you catching the bus? Yeah, sorry, sorry, you catch the bus. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, okay. So this gentleman is catching the uh, bus, the Suva Express. He's going to Suva, is he? Okay. The Botagoda Express is taking this gentleman to Suva. Bye, guys. Okay, so that's a real slice of history, isn't it? I've just been up to the other end and I've spoken to the lady who, who lives in the old post office, yeah. which used to be, um, which, which is opposite what used to be the old Morris Hedstrom's. Yeah, and yeah. further up is the, the gym, isn't it? Yeah. And then the next, next door was the library. Yeah, yeah. It's all different now, isn't it, yeah. eh? Yeah. All and different. After that, uh, Whippy, they bought that uh, oh, building. Okay, the Whippy family. Yeah. Family. But which building the, the post office? No. No, the, 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 the old Morris Estrams. That's the old Morris Estram, uh, Mr. Whippy body. Oh, okay. The okay. post office opposite. Uh, okay, Mr. okay. All right, okay. Interesting. So I'm just going to have a look down here, dear. Okay. And then I'll come back and go down to the lower, lower level. Thank you very much, guys. Eh? Thank you. So there you go. That's a real slice of history there. Um, now she, she, she actually lives in that house over there. Uh, and you can see some of the uh, some of the other houses uh, over here. The houses on the lower level. Now let me just explain something here. Where I am right now is where used to be the, um, the European quarters. The um, the locals, the um, who were mainly Fijians, uh, lived at a lower level, and the. The difference in the housing, housing is quite stark. It's very noticeable. And so, uh, so you can see there is the actual um, gold mine over there. And as the lady pointed out, there are these various shafts where they extract the gold. So, so there's a lot of gold in the ground. So you can see some of these older houses over here. And these, have a quick word with these lads over here. Try and navigate my way around this pool of water, of rainwater. It's been raining a lot. It's been raining 
uh, so much. It's put my plans uh, on visiting some of the ancient uh, Fijian villages uh, on hold. You may remember my last vlog. Um, but uh, anyway, I'll come back to come back to that a bit later. But uh, guys, how are you? Okay. So what's here? You've got a little park. Yeah. Little park here, and you're you're uh, you've got these. You're rolling these tires. <laughs> okay. All right, fellas. Okay. And that's the uh, that's the gold mine over there, isn't it? Eh? Yeah. That's where they process the uh, the gold. Pacific Energy. Pacific Energy. Oh, okay. No, sorry. Right. Sorry. Thank you. That is. That's not the gold mine, is it? Yeah. That's just the for the that's the oil Pacific Energy. That's right, right now. Thank you very <laughs> this guy. These 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 boys are geniuses. Thank you. So up there is not um so as you can see through just over there in the distance, through that clearing, that is not the gold mine. The gold mine is further over to the other side. And it kind of didn't make sense to me when I thought about it after having told you that it was, but it isn't the gold mine. It's the, uh, it's Pacific Energy. Uh, it's like a, an oil depot, uh, which uh, has, has uh, grown up there. I think it's just, uh, it's just um, not, they're not, obviously they're not extracting oil from the ground, but it's like a, uh, like a base. So, okay, so where do you guys live in the area? Hmm? You guys live here? On the top. On the top? Okay, okay, okay. And this house is very interesting. Very interesting house. Okay, so. And here we go, we've got uh, another one of those very interesting houses here. Okay, so. Um, so we'll leave these uh, young lads enjoying themselves as they roll their tires. This is a bit sad, isn't it? This is all there is for a park. Not much going here, is there? Not much going on. Not much of a park, eh? It's a very, um, eh? not very good, eh? Well, what happened to the swing? It's gone. It's gone. The it's just got the frame, but uh, all the swings have gone. Yeah. And look at this slide. You're not going to use it. You're not going to go up, are you? Are you going to go on top? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right, guys. All right, fellas. Back out. Yeah. Okay. Mother, mother. Thank you. Okay, so uh, that's a rather sad excuse for a for a park. Poor guys. Poor young fellas. They're left with uh, very little. Uh, in a park, which uh, is a very poor excuse for a park but um, anyway let's get back in the car and head off to the uh, the lower slopes I make it sound like a ski resort but let's go down to the lower level uh, of uh, Botticola and uh, show you what it uh, so you show you some of those houses down there and show you what it used to look like and this 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 truck has just returned from one of the the, uh, the four shafts So let's uh, let's head off down to the uh, um, the other half, the lower half of Vatikola. And the houses down there are really interesting, as you'll see in a few moments. They're absolutely fascinating. All right, dear, thank you very much. They did. I was just talking to those boys. That isn't part of the gold mine, is it? It's the uh, like an oil depot, isn't it, up there? Up there. Just over here is the oil depot, isn't it? Eh? It's like an oil depot, isn't it? Yeah, Just yeah, over, yeah. Yeah, it's an oil. Yeah. Is it Pacifica or something? Is Pacific, Pacific Energy. Pacific Energy. Okay, okay, all right. All right, thank you, ladies. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too, dear. God bless. All right, you too, dear. Thank you.
Okay, guys, just before we reach the lower level, in between the upper level and the lower level of Buttercole, there is this convent, Marist Convent School, uh, established in 1937. And these fellows are clearing the grass. So there is a somewhere. I'm not sure where. It's an interesting little stream here. But uh, these presumably are the uh, the houses that the, the priests used to live in. Uh, or maybe they're the um, the, uh, the accommodation for the girls who would have gone to the convent school wherever the school is located. So, so you see, um, you see some of these oldest. Bula dear, have you okay? How are you okay? I'm just doing a little story about Vatakola. <laughs> what are these? Ha these houses are for the girls at the convent, or for the for the workers? Ah, oh, for the workers at the gold mine. Pardon? These are the you said these are the quarters for the workers. Yeah, quarters for the workers. Which workers are the workers at the gold mine? Gold mine. Ah, oh, okay. So these aren't the quarters for uh, people involved with the convent school. No, no, eh? No. Oh, okay, okay. There's no quarters for convent school. Oh, is there a convent school anymore? No. Yeah. It's still there. Oh, okay. The school is still there. Yeah, the school is still there. And so this is this has got nothing to do with the convent. No. Oh, Only okay. The there I the see. Okay. Oh, okay. The priest's house. Yeah. And the school. Yeah. And so the convent was for girls only at one point, wasn't it? No. It's no. Uh, boys and girls. Oh, okay. Okay. Because the convent implies that it's a girls' school. Yeah. But it's mixed, is it? Now it's mixed. Now it's mixed. Oh, yeah. Only okay. the convent here. The convent for the sisters. Yeah. Oh. But there's no more sisters there. Oh, okay, all right, okay, fascinating. <laughs> all right, thank you very okay, much for that, dear. Thank you, Manaka. Okay, there you go. That's uh, that's uh, that's what's going on here. It's not a, it's still a school, but it isn't a convent school. It isn't strictly a convent school for for young ladies. It's a school, a mixed school now. And uh, these 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 quarters. Which uh, are kind of the halfway point between the upper level of Buttercola and the lower level. These these um, these quarters are these houses are for people working in the gold mine. Okay, so let's carry on down. Okay, guys, now I'm at the, the lower end of Vatakola, um, which is called Matanangata. And uh, you can see there is a huge difference in the quality of the housing. Look at these ones here. Look at them. They're absolutely fascinating to look at. Uh, they've been... Uh, they haven't been well maintained, but that gives them a real character. Especially this one over here. Have a look at this one. This one looks, this one has just gripped my attention. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It looks, it's got so much character. Um, street, rain street as it is, with uh, peeling paint, it looks, it's got, it's got a real sense of uh, character about it. And on the side here, on the side here, there is very interesting chimney. But it's uh, very unusual. Uh, and uh, like I said, you know, the upper 
the upper end of uh, what the call of was where the Europeans lived in the olden days. And this lower end is where uh, the ordinary Fijians lived. And the, the, uh, the contrast in the standard of housing couldn't be any starker. So, but those two houses, aren't they just fascinating? Oh, anyway, so, this is just one end of Matangata. There is a further, uh, there, is a, there are some further houses just down uh, on the other side of this, uh, this bend in the road. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Incredible. Look at these houses over here. Incredible sense of character. It was the habit in colonial days to paint your roofs red. Um, so you can see there are just remnants of red uh, on the, the roof of this building, but it's just got so much character, hasn't it? Look at that. So much character. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is uh, the poorer end of Atacola. And the, the, uh... Bula dear, how are you? Very interesting house. <laughs> these houses are very interesting, aren't they? Yeah. They're very old, aren't they? These houses yeah, yeah. are very old. very old. Yeah, yeah. Nearly 100 years now. Really? Mm. Would they be as old as that? Over about 100 uh, years? Since uh, the gold mine started. Yeah, okay. This house here in this uh, settlement. Yes. This was the first uh, okay. half of the yeah. workers. Yeah, okay. And yeah. this is where the Fijian workers lived? Yes. Uh, yeah. The other end was where the Europeans lived? Yeah, okay. European. Okay, uh, okay, all right. Fascinating, isn't it, eh? So, okay. Uh, yeah. are, you, are you preparing lunch? Yeah, preparing Oh, okay, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, okay. okay. Thank you, dear. A blessed day. You too, dear. Okay, Bula, bula. Okay, there you go. There's a, there's a lady who knows a lot of the history. So, you can see some of the, uh, the older housing over here. They don't have as much character as the first two I showed you. Those, the, the first two houses I showed you were just <laughs> absolutely fascinating. Bula, 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 bula. How are you? Are you okay? How are you? What are you doing? Are you reading a book or something? Yeah. Are you having... Are you... Sorry. Are you, are you just relaxing or are you yeah. watching... You're not watching a movie or anything. You're just relaxing, are you? Yeah. Okay, all right. All right, I'll leave you to it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys. So there, here we have it. This is... Uh, this was the... Um, this was effectively the poorer end of Vatagola uh, back in the day, back in the days of colonialism, uh, when the Emperor Goldmine was a huge source of wealth. It still is uh, a source of wealth for Fiji, but not, uh, not as big as it used to be. Uh, there is still gold and then there are hills, or rather underground, but um, it's not as... Uh, It's not as much as the, the big thing that it was back in colonial times. This used to be a, uh, a different place back then. You know, you saw the upper end of Vatagola uh, with its uh, uh, significantly better housing. And this end here has uh, housing that um, is in stark contrast to what we saw earlier. Anyway, let's... Uh, let me t I, want to, I want to take you down to the other end and show you some of the other houses. For me? Huh? 
for me? Yes. <laughs> no, okay, no, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. That's for you. Okay. Bye. Take care. Bye. Okay, now let's uh, okay, let's head off down to the other end uh, of the the other end of the poor end of the Gola. And it's just incredible, isn't it? These the people are living in these houses, still work in the mines. And uh, well, I rather suspect that their uh, conditions haven't improved all that much down the years. But, um, okay, let's, I, look at, I just love the look of this building, this house. It's just got so much character. I know it's, I know, you know, it's got a, it's poor, but it's, it's just got a, you know, a brooding sense of personality. Um, but anyway, let's head off down to uh, the other end of uh, what they call it. And this is the uh, the local cooperative shop, is it? Okay. Okay, and this gentleman here runs the, the shop. You run the shop? Huh? This is your shop? I mean, you, you run it for the cooperative? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Very nice. I'm going to wander off down down there in that direction. Mm -hmm. Just going to have a look at uh, some of the, uh, the houses down there. Okay, nice talking to you. Okay, take care. Okay, so there you go. That's uh... So we're just going to wander off down the other end of Vatakola. Um, of uh, Matangata. Okay, okay one, okay, one minute, one minute, guys. Okay, now I've got an escort. Of these, these guys, they're showing me what, what is very interesting. They, these are the tank houses. They're called the tank houses. What about these? Uh, what about? Uh, that's interesting, isn't it? Eh? So these are all tank houses. Wow. Wow, all of them are tank houses, eh? What about these dogs? Okay? No. They're not biting. No. They won't bite. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Okay. Okay, so these are all tank houses. Okay. Wow. Fascinating. <laughs> okay. So these are all, these are, these, again, I, it's fascinating. These are all tank houses. They're called tank houses. And they are, they are just absolutely very, very unusual and quite fascinating. Fascinating look, to look at. My goodness, all these tank houses, eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're still in Matangata. And these, what you've just seen, are the famous tank houses. Uh, of the area. Famous tank houses. There's one over here, which has been slightly modified. Okay, so there you go. They, these are the famous tank houses. Wow. Fascinating, eh? <laughs> okay. Okay, well. There you go. There you have it. This place is just full of fascinating buildings. Not least of which are the, uh, the tank houses, the famous tank houses. And so, I think we've just about reached the end of our vlog. But before I go, I wanted to show you what it's like. I wanted to show you what it's like at the entrance to the Batagola gold mine. Okay, fellas. Naka. See it, Naka. Naka. Okay, so, uh, so with my uh, oh, these uh, those nice lads who took me and showed me and th those absolutely uh, fascinating tank houses, we are 
winding down this vlog. Like I said, this is my first time here and it was brought about by the fact that it's been raining such a lot. Uh, which brings me back to the point I made earlier. Um, I have been trying to get out to visit uh, an ancient Fijian village on a hill with my, uh, my accomplice in um, these matters, Mike Agnew. We've been trying to get out to see this Fijian village and we ha it's high up on a hill, uh, very inaccessible, but we, we've, we figured out a route using a couple of horses uh, or we could walk. But um, we were defeated by the elements. It started raining very heavily last Sunday and it's been like that quite regularly the last couple of weeks. So I, uh, I was forced back onto this, um, this plan of visiting uh, Vatakul and there, there you go, there's another tank house over there. Yeah, so I was forced back onto uh, this contingency plan of visiting Vatakula. And of course, you know, the other, the other dampener on uh, vlogging at the moment uh, is the, the, uh, the COVID situation, which is improving. The COVID situation is improving, but um, it uh, just means you have to be a bit cautious about how you vlog. So uh, I'm going to wind down this vlog now, but I'm going to take you and show you very quickly the entrance to the gold mine, which is just further off in that direction over there. But those tank houses are extraordinary. I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to come back and take pictures with a, with a camera, with a proper camera. And uh, yeah. All right, fellas. Well, I like that. Okay guys, this is where it all starts. In terms of the gold mine, it all starts here. This is the entrance to the gold mine just over here, but it also draws my vlog to an end. Uh, so I'll show you this very quickly. This is the, uh, the entrance to the gold mine. Uh, and it says there, what they call the gold mines. And you've got this uh, rather strange looking alpine mountain in the background and there are no alpine peaks in Fiji. Um, so uh, that's a curious, <laughs> curious uh, illustration. But anyway, the um, the gold mine, the road to the gold mine is along this road here. It'll take you all the way to the entrance. Uh, and so on that uh, on that fascinating note of gold, colonialism, and tank houses. Uh, that draws this vlog to an end. Thank you very much for watching. I shall be returning shortly to my regular routine of vlogging uh, Fiji's ancient history, so long as the, um, the weather settles down. And, um, and we uh, get back to as normal, uh, so long as we get back to a, things being as normal as possible after COVID, uh, I shall be doing a lot more vlogging of Fiji's culture and its rich traditions. Uh, but uh, until the next time, thank you very much for watching and uh, well, stay safe. Bye.